Hey, what's going on, Builders? Krosama here. And we finally have it. We have the Sandrock review that I'm pretty sure quite a few people was wondering when it was going to come out because I did the, the unboxing weeks and weeks ago. But you know what? I just really wasn't feeling it. I built it, and I was like, there's other things I really want to do, and we have the charity giveaway, a lot of other things I want to get done. So this kind of went to the wayside. But you know what? It is done. It's completed. So let's take a look at it in the review and see if it's actually worth your hard-earned dollars. And you can pick this kit up over at NewTypeHQ.com. And if you want to save a little bit extra money, you can use that promo code CROWSAMA for 10% off. So on to the review. Now here it is straight out of the box. Normally I would do a little bit of uh, at least panel lining and replace all the stickers with actual detail painting. But I'm not even going to lie, I'm just not feeling this kit at all. And it's probably not going to stay in my collection. Um, I'm probably going to see if anyone local is going to want this kit. Or maybe I can donate it to one of the, the shops. Because, uh, ah, oh God, I just really, it's an eyesore to me. But man, even if I like detailed it up, you know, did some weathering, did some painting, I just feel like I would never like this version of the Sand Rock. And it's not to say I don't like any of the Sand Rocks, but I would just say the first one is generally the weakest. Now when it comes to stickers, you are going to have some for the top little like camera, you're going to have some for the eyes, that little green right there on the chest, as well as those two great uh, stickers right there on the shoulder pads. Also you have two stickers on the back of the shoulder pads, sticker for the side skirts, and stickers for the eyes on the shield. Now this kit doesn't have any like really outstanding features or gimmicks, it has some pretty good panel lines here and there, but you know, it's not really anything that's going to stand out. So let's just move on to the articulation. And it has going to be on a double ball joint, so it is going to have quite a range of movement. Now you're going to have a ball joint for the socket, so you can actually bring this out a little bit right there. Arms can move out. Rotation at the bicep. Two joints right here at the elbow. Ball joint at the wrist. A little bit of a joint right there in the midsection. And a little ab crunch right there. Can rotate side to side. Front skirts move out. Now if you split the front skirts right there, you can definitely have individual movement. Side skirts also move out just a little bit. And then the back skirt can also move out, which is fantastic because this is normally a fixed piece right here on the back of the kit. Leg can move out about that far, to the side about that far. Then there's a little gimmick right here on the inside that can move these hips back and forth. Rotation right here at the hip. Two joints at the knees right here and here. Ankle skirt is going to be on a ball joint. Individual toe bin can rock back and forth and move back and forward that far. So the articulation and everything is amazing. I love it. Um, the runners are all brand new. Uh, so some of the joints are obviously like kind of joints that we've seen in the past. But it, and, you know, it's still using something that's brand new and not an old rehashed kit that's like something from like the, the Bill Fighters and Bill Divers line. This is a fresh new mold that has great articulation. So I really do appreciate when they do this with certain kits. But, you know, I just I still can't get past the aesthetics. Now for accessories, you do get these kind of like gripping hands that you can actually hold items. Some open grabbing hands. And then you're going to get these gripping hands that are going to be for the blades. So it's kind of more on an angle and it's also going to have that little thumb right there just to kind of keep it balanced. But it looks really good or if you want, it could just be a mobile suit giving you a thumbs up. And then you're going to have the heat chattels. I know I said chateaus, but yeah, it's chattels. Or it's probably not even chattels. It's probably something else. I'm just mispronouncing it. But yeah, these are looking really good. I actually love the little like semi-gloss finish right there on the blade. I, I think it looks pretty damn good. But yeah, that's about it. Now what you can do is you can actually take this piece off and plug in the heat blade and it has like a little translucent red right there which eh, don't really think it looks that great. Um, maybe if it was actually a solid color but I don't know that's kind of like my thoughts. Uh, you know a heat blade wouldn't be this like translucent you wouldn't be able to see on the other side. Uh, so maybe a clear red part that was like really bright would have been better but you can easily paint this however you want. Now if you want, you can actually take these blades and you can store it right here on the side of the backpack, which is pretty cool for some storage and it's going to have a little bit of mobility if you want to kind of like open and close them. Yeah. 
And next is going to be the shield. So overall, I think it looks really good. Um, I'm pretty happy about it. I, I think the panel lines are really nice on the underside. It does have a lot of empty space right there, a lot of gaps uh, that you may want to fill in if you are, you know, really wanting to do all that. But I mean, otherwise, the inside looks pretty good as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a pretty nice little shield. Now, if you want to make the cross crusher, you're just going to take the shield, put it on top of the backpack, and you can just open up these uh, these blades, and you're just going to put this right on top of the arm. And now for comparison, here it is next to the Master Grade Samrock EW. And you know, I love the EW look a lot more than the original design because I don't know, like it, it has a more like agile look uh, for the EW. Whereas the high grade, I mean, the high grade looks good. It looks like it's agile and all that, but it looks a little more chubby in certain areas. Um, it's definitely a little more round than angular and just kind of more sleek. So yeah, it's like, I, I don't hate all Sam Rocks. You know, I'm not, I'm not prejudiced against the Sam Rock Gundam. Uh, in fact, I do love the uh, Endless Waltz OVA Sam Rock, but that's mainly due to the cloak. But the upgrade version it gets, I think it's called like the Sand Rock Kai or something like that. Uh, and then the original TV version, eh, don't really care about it. Uh, but I do love the armadillo mode, uh, like the, the armor, the armadillo uh, armor. I think that's fine as well. So, you know, I'm just going to say say like this, you know, like it's it's not bad. Sand Rock's not bad. But let's go ahead and we're going to move on to the final thoughts. So for my final thoughts, uh, I'm definitely gonna keep these two up here just cause I think they actually look kind of badass together. Um, but yeah, in concerns of the model, you know, the high grade itself, you know, let, let's just take all my hatred towards the aesthetics aside. This is a very, very solid model. I think it goes for around like $15, $17 online. Um, you know, obviously over here in Japan, it's a little bit cheaper, but you know, for the price tag, I'm not upset. I just don't really care to have it in my collection. You know, it's it's a high grade that I, I think is it was definitely uh, well deserving. It, you know, obviously need to come out because you know the wing already had its updated uh, high grade, both the wing and the wing zero. Surprisingly enough, uh, so yeah, I think we, it's about time we get the rest of the boy band. So I'm I don't know, man. I'm 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 on a big fence right now with this. Like I think it looks okay. Um, it, it's not something I'm really happy about, but you know, it's needed. It's needed if you want to complete your collection. So, uh, what can I say to that? You know, and, and the joints, the joints are fantastic. It has a wide range of movement. It can definitely reach behind its back and grab one of the uh, beam, you know, the heat shut holes. Um, it can do a lot of great poses, has a great articulation. So, I don't really have issues with it. You know, it's just my own personal hatred towards it. And, I, I you know, I use hatred. That's a little too strong of a word. I would just say dislike. Um, and I, I don't even like the, the pilot. What was his name? Catra. Whatever the hell his name was. Yeah, can't stand him. I really can't stand most of the seed uh, storyline. But the one thing they did get right is a lot of the grunts are fantastic. And uh, pretty much most of the Gundams are, you know, amazing. Especially, you know, the the, the short the short goose as well as the, uh, the Epion. One of my favorite designs. And, of course, the Natakus. But... Hey, that's it, guys. You know, obviously, if you do like this, go get it. You probably already have it anyways in your collection because, you know, I'm late as shit to this review. But definitely appreciate all of you for watching. And uh, if you do want to see more Gunpla reviews, voice, you know, please voice your concerns. It's the only way you're going to get more Gunpla is if I hear you out in the comment section below, you know, crying about how I'm only, you know, a gotcha gamer right now and uh, not doing much Gunpla. So trust me, I'm going to do more for you. But uh, definitely voice your concerns in the comment section below. But that's it for me, man. I uh, definitely appreciate all of you for watching, uh, staying all the way through the video. But, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.